take a quick look at comparing linear and exponential growth. So we've studied linear growth in the past, and we're going to study exponential growth right now. So let's take a look at comparing those two growth models. So this first function I have, f of x equals 2x. Well, what that's saying to do is take whatever value of x is and multiply it by 2. So when x is 0, um, f of x is also 0. When x is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. When x is 2, f of x is 4. When x is 3, we have 6. When x is 4, the function value is 8. 5 uh, and 10, 6 and 12. So there we have an example of linear growth. Taking a look at what this does, whenever you increase x by 1, y, or f of x, is increased by 2. So increase x by 1, increase y by 2. Increase x by 1, increase y by 2. This is really the, um, what makes this a linear pattern is that as you're increasing x by a constant amount, you're increasing y, or f of x, by a constant amount. Linear growth um, is really built upon a constant rate of change. So in this case, whenever you increase x by 1, f of x increases by 2. Therefore, this has a rate of change of 2, and it's constant. We're just increasing by 2 every time. Now, exponential growth is going to work a little bit differently. So here I have another function, g of x, and that's equal to 2 raised to the x power. So 2 raised to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the second power is, or 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power is 4, 3 to the third power is 8, 2 to the fourth power is 16, to the fifth power is 32, to the sixth power is 64, and so on. And let's take a look at what this pattern is. Well, x is still increasing by 1 each time, but the difference here is that f, or g of x, is not increasing by a constant amount, because here it's increasing by 1 and then it increases by 2, then by 4, then by 8, then by 16, then by 64. So we don't have a constant rate of change. We have something else that's kind of constant. To get from 1 to 2, we can multiply that by 2. From 2 to 4, multiply by 2. From 4 to 8, multiply by 2. 8 to 16, everywhere along here we are multiplying by 2. And that's really the sign of exponential growth. As x increases by a constant value, the f of x is being multiplied by a constant value. So linear growth shows a constant rate of change where we're adding the same amount each time. Exponential growth shows multiplying by the same amount each time. Let's take a look at what these will look like uh, graphically. Alright, so here I've got uh, my graph and I'm going to go ahead and plot these two functions. So f of x was um, Let's see, f of x equals 2x. So that means when x is 0, f of x is 0. When x is 1, f of x is 2. When x is uh, 2, it's 4. So we basically have a slope of 2. So this is what a linear function tends to look like. We graph all of these points and we have a straight line. We have a constant rate of change. It's increasing by the same amount every time. It's just kind of like you're driving down the highway at the same speed. You're just moving along at a constant rate. Now, exponential growth is going to work a little bit differently. When x was 0, here's our g of x, was 2 raised to the x power. When x was 0, the function value was 1. When x was 1, the function value is 2. When the function or x is 2, 2 squared is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. When x is 3, the function value is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then at 1, 2, 3, 4, we had 16. So 1, 2, 3, And then we were up at 32. So this is kind of the growth pattern of exponential growth. It starts out kind of slow, but then it curves up and increases very fast. So the rate of change is increasing as we move to the right. So that's why this graph is increasing faster and faster to the right, whereas linear stayed the constant rate of change everywhere.
So those are a couple of the main differences between linear and exponential growth. Linear growth has a constant rate of change. You're adding the same amount every time. And exponential growth, you have a constant multiplier. And really what's going on here is the distance between the different y values are changing each time. So here, from these two points, we have a distance of one. Then from these two points, we have a distance of two. Between these two points, we have a distance of four. Between these two points, we have a distance of eight. Between the next two points, we have a distance of 16. So the distance between those two points is increasing faster and faster. Whereas if you look at the linear growth, everywhere you have two points, the distance there is two, the distance there is two, the distance is two. It's staying the same rate of change every time.